The African savanna stretches vast and open, a palette of earthy browns and greens as far as the eye can see. Acacia trees, with their signature flat-topped canopies, punctuate the horizon, while the ground below is blanketed by the swaying grasslands, glistening gold under the African sun. Every blade of grass, every shadow cast by the trees, plays host to myriad stories of survival, symbiosis, and strategy. Yet, amidst this boundless beauty, there's a presence that's particularly compelling the majestic lion. Often referred to as the king of the jungle, this title may be somewhat misleading, given that lions don't typically dwell in jungles. Rather, their dominion lies over these open plains, where their tawny fur provides them a natural camouflage against the sun-baked ground. It's here that the lion moves with a grace that belies its power, each stride exuding confidence and poise. Historical records and fossil evidence suggest that lions weren't always confined to the African continent. Ages ago, their roar echoed across Europe, the Middle East, and Asia. The modern lion's ancient ancestors had an expansive range, a testament to their adaptability and prowess. However, time, climatic changes, and human interference have since restricted their territories. Today, their primary abode is in sub-Saharan Africa, a land that complements their nature in every sense. Apart from Africa, a small, significant population can be found in the Gur forest of India, a testament to the lion's once sprawling dominion. When one envisions a lion, the image that often comes to mind is that of an imposing male, his head crowned with a thick golden mane that ripples with every movement. This mane is not just decorative, it serves as a symbol of maturity, strength, and health. It acts as a protective shield during confrontations and skirmishes, and its fullness can indicate the lion's age and vitality. Yet, the females, sleek and equally formidable, are the unsung heroes, often doing the bulk of hunting and caregiving. Lions, apex predators that they are, have evolved to consume a diet that befits their stature. Roaming the savanna, they set their sights on ungulates the hoofed mammals that graze the plains. Wildebeest, with their curved horns and sinewy bodies, zebras with their hypnotic stripes, and agile antelopes, all form part of the lion's menu. An adult lion, with its immense appetite, can consume up to 15 pounds kilograms, of meat in one sitting, testament to its caloric needs to maintain its muscular physique. But it's not just strength that defines the lion, it's also speed. While they are not long-distance runners, in short bursts, especially during a hunt, they can accelerate to speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. This rapid sprint, combined with their stealth and strategy, often spells doom for their prey. The sheer size of these feline beasts is awe-inspiring. Adult males, with their broader shoulders and more massive frames, typically tip the scales between 330 to 550 pounds, 150 to 250 kilograms. The females, though slightly smaller, are no less impressive, weighing in between 265 to 400 pounds, 120 to 180 kilograms. From paw to shoulder, an adult lion stands tall at about 4 feet, 120 centimeters, a height that ensures they peer dominantly over the grasslands they call home. In the wild, the social dynamics of animals vary significantly from species to species. Some prefer solitary lives, while others thrive in groups. Lions, however, stand out with their unique social arrangements. While they are undoubtedly fierce predators and symbols of unbridled power, beneath this fierce exterior lies a complex web of relationships, roles, and rituals that are pivotal to their survival. At the heart of the lion's social existence is the pride. Unlike other big cats that often roam alone, lions have recognized the benefits of community. A typical pride consists of several related females, their offspring, and a coalition of males, which could be one dominant male or a group of related males. This pride structure has evolved for reasons both practical and strategic. The females, often sisters or extended family, collaborate in hunting and share the responsibility of rearing the young. The males, on the other hand, have the primary duty of defending the pride's territory from outsiders and potential threats. Within the pride, interactions aren't merely functional, they're deeply emotional and serve to reinforce bonds. Grooming is one such behavior. It's not uncommon to see one lion licking another, removing dirt, parasites, and helping heal wounds. 
This act, while undoubtedly hygienic, is also a sign of affection and trust. Another common sight is that of lions play fighting, especially the younger ones. These playful tussles, while entertaining to observe, are more than just games. They are crucial training sessions where the cubs learn the skills they'll need as adults, and they also establish social hierarchies within the pride. Speaking of cubs, these young lions bring a delightful innocence to the otherwise intense world of the pride. Often seen as the pride's treasures, they play a pivotal role in ensuring the continuation of the lineage. At birth, they are surprisingly small, typically weighing between 2.2 to 4.4 pounds, 1 to 2 kilograms, and measuring about a foot 30 centimeters, in length. Their eyes, initially shut, open only after a week or so, unveiling a world of wonder and challenges. One of the most enchanting features of lion cubs is their fur. Unlike the smooth tawny coats of adults, cubs are born with faint spots scattered across their bodies. These spots, reminiscent of rosettes, are thought to be a throwback to their evolutionary ancestors. Over time, as the cubs grow, these markings fade, and by adulthood, they typically vanish. However, they serve a vital purpose during the cubs' early days. The dappled fur helps camouflage the cubs in the grass, protecting them from potential predators when their mothers are away hunting. While lion cubs bring joy and playfulness to the pride, their journey to adulthood is fraught with challenges. The pride offers them protection, lessons in hunting and survival, and most importantly, a sense of belonging. In turn, as they mature, they will play their part in the intricate dance of roles and responsibilities that sustain the pride. The story of the lion, much like an ancient tapestry, weaves a narrative full of twists, turns, and adaptations spanning over 1.5 million years. While today we associate lions predominantly with the African savanna, the echoes of their ancestors can be traced across continents. Fossil records and archaeological findings provide a window into the vast expanse of territory once roamed by early lions. From the thick forests of Asia, through the varied landscapes of Europe, to the expansive plains of Africa, evidence of their presence has been unearthed. These findings paint a picture of a species that wasn't just prolific in number, but also incredibly adaptable. As they journeyed through different terrains and climates, lions underwent evolutionary changes to better suit their environments. The dense woodlands of ancient Europe and Asia demanded a stealthier, more ambush-oriented hunting style, possibly leading to a stockier build. However, as some migrated and settled in the open plains of Africa, speed and stamina became more vital. Their bodies elongated, their muscles became more defined, and their senses sharpened, molding them into the apex predators we recognize today. Yet, evolution is not just about physical changes, it's also about relationships. Over the millennia, as the family tree of big cats branched out, lions diverged from their closest relatives. Leopards, with their dappled coats, became masters of stealth and ambush, while jaguars in the Americas adapted to both forested and wetland habitats. Meanwhile, lions, with their social structures and cooperative hunting strategies, found their niche in the open grasslands of Africa. Adapting to the challenges of the African savanna was no small feat. It meant not only competing with other predators for food, but also developing social structures like prides to effectively hunt large herbivores and defend their territories. Lions, in their grandeur and might, are not just creatures of strength, but also beings of profound intellect and intricate behavior. Delving into the psyche of these magnificent felines unveils an array of fascinating characteristics, setting them apart from most of their feline counterparts. First and foremost, their social inclination stands out starkly in the feline world. While many cats, like the elusive leopard or the solitary tiger, prefer a life of seclusion, lions have carved out an existence that hinges on collaboration. Living and hunting in prides, they've harnessed the power of unity. This collective behavior has granted them strategic advantages. By working together, they can bring down prey as formidable as a buffalo, or as swift as a gazelle, feats that would be immensely challenging for a solo hunter. Furthermore, a group offers better defense mechanisms, allowing them to safeguard their territories against potential threats or rival prides. Beyond just physical collaboration, the depth of lion communication is both complex and captivating. 
Their vocalizations, especially their iconic roars, are multi-dimensional tools. A lion's roar, echoing across the plains, is not merely a sound but a statement. It declares territory, warding off potential intruders and rivals. Yet, within the pride, the same roar can serve as a rallying call, drawing members closer in times of need or re-establishing contact if separated. It's a testament to the lion's ability to use sound as a tool, both for external dominance and internal cohesion. Moreover, these vocalizations also reinforce the intricate social bonds within the pride. Through a symphony of grunts, growls, and purrs, lions communicate emotions, intentions, and warnings, ensuring a cohesive existence. In essence, the behavior and intellect of lions showcase an animal that's not only adapted to its environment, but has also evolved sophisticated strategies to navigate the complexities of social and territorial dynamics. Peeling back the layers of the lion's existence, scientific studies have illuminated a myriad of intriguing aspects of these regal creatures. As we delve deeper into the world of lions, three significant revelations stand out, challenging perceptions and enhancing our understanding of their complex lives. Starting with the iconic mane that adorns male lions, it's easy to be mesmerized by its aesthetic allure. Yet, this mane is far more than just a decorative feature, it's a biological billboard. The size, thickness, and hue of the mane can offer a plethora of information about the lion. A fuller, denser mane might indicate a lion in the prime of his health, while the coloration can hint at age and even testosterone levels. Darker manes are often associated with older, more genetically fit lions, making them more attractive to potential mates, but also signaling dominance to rival males. Thus, this majestic cascade of hair serves not only as a protective barrier during fights, but also as a silent communicator of vitality and supremacy. Transitioning from the males to the lionesses, another remarkable aspect emerges in the realm of reproduction. In a beautiful dance of nature, lionesses within a pride often exhibit synchronized estrus cycles. This synchronization is not a mere coincidence but a strategic adaptation, by aligning their reproductive cycles, lionesses can give birth around the same time, allowing them to communally nurse and care for the pride's cubs. This joint rearing not only fosters a sense of unity among the young, but also significantly enhances their chances of survival. With multiple caregivers and protectors, the cubs are less vulnerable to threats and have a higher likelihood of reaching adulthood. Lastly, a common misconception about lions is the role of the male as the primary hunter. Scientific observations, however, paint a different picture. Lionesses are the unsung heroes of the hunting realm, leading and executing hunts about 85% of the time. Agile, stealthy, and incredibly coordinated, they work in tandem to stalk and take down prey. While their male counterparts possess the strength and might, it's the lionesses that display impeccable strategy and teamwork, ensuring sustenance for the pride. These insights, stemming from rigorous scientific study, not only debunk myths, but also showcase the intricate and wonderfully evolved nature of lions. Lions, with their regal stature and intricate social structures, are undeniably one of nature's most fascinating creatures. Their evolutionary journey, unique behaviors, and scientific intricacies provide a deep insight into the world of these big cats. Their existence, interwoven with the tapestry of the African savanna, is a testament to nature's grandeur. The vast expanses of the African savanna present a canvas of life, colors, and movement, where each entity has its role and purpose. Amidst this kaleidoscope, the cheetah stands out, not just as a participant, but as a shimmering example of nature's genius. Sleek, swift, and astoundingly agile, the cheetah occupies a singular space in the realm of big cats. From the rolling grasslands of the Serengeti to the arid stretches of the Kalahari, the cheetah's presence is marked by its iconic silhouette. That golden yellow coat, shimmering under the African sun, is the first thing one notices. It's as if someone took the hue of the savannah's grasses at sunset and painted it onto the cheetah, adding a multitude of black spots for dramatic effect. These spots not only contribute to the cheetah's beauty, but also serve a functional purpose, aiding in camouflage amidst the tall golden grasses. Equally captivating are the cheetah's tear marks, which have been a subject of fascination for many. 
These marks, starting from the inner corners of the cheetah's amber eyes and trailing down to the sides of its mouth, give the appearance of flowing tears. While aesthetically striking, they also have a functional role. Scientists believe these marks help deflect the sun's glare and focus better on prey, providing the cheetah with a critical advantage during daytime hunts. The diet of the cheetah is an essential aspect of its existence in the savanna. With a preference for small to medium-sized ungulates, it is common to witness a cheetah stealthily stalking an unsuspecting gazelle or impala. The chase that ensues is nothing short of breathtaking. While the hunt is a dance of life and death, it showcases the cheetah's prowess and its impeccable design for speed. However, it's not all about the chase, the cheetah's dietary habits are quite disciplined. Consuming around 6 to 8 pounds to kilograms of food daily, they ensure they have the energy to sustain their high-speed pursuits and the rigors of savanna life. Speaking of speed, the cheetah's reputation precedes it. Holding the prestigious title of the fastest land animal, it can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in mere seconds, an automotive feat in biological form. Imagine watching this feline blur whizzing past, its speed clocking between 58 to 64 miles per hour, 93 to 104 kilometers per hour, with the wind rustling through its fur and the ground almost trembling under its power. Yet, for all its speed and might, the cheetah's physique is remarkably delicate. Adults, with their lean and slender frame, weigh in the ballpark of 110 to 140 pounds, 50 to 64 kilograms. This weight, combined with a height ranging from 2.5 to 3 feet 76 to 91 centimeters at the shoulder, gives the cheetah its distinctively aerodynamic profile. Within the vastness of the African savanna, each animal has its manner of navigating the challenges and intricacies of survival. For the cheetah, life is an intricate dance of speed, stealth, and social interactions. While the blistering speed and hunting prowess of this big cat are well documented, its social behaviors and structures provide a deeper understanding of its life in the wild. Unlike the gregarious lions known for their pride dynamics, cheetahs tread a different path. Their sociability is nuanced, defined by specific needs and situations. Male cheetahs, especially those born in the same litter, often band together to form groups known as coalitions. These brotherly units can consist of anywhere from two to four members, though pairs are most common. The bonds formed in these coalitions are deep and enduring, with brothers often spending their entire lives together. Coalitions are more than just a companionship arrangement. They are strategic alliances that offer multiple advantages. In the competitive savanna landscape, territories are everything. A coalition can more effectively lay claim to and defend a territory against tribal males. Together, they patrol their domain, marking boundaries with scent markers and ensuring their dominance is acknowledged. Hunting, too, becomes more efficient with coordinated efforts. While cheetahs are primarily solitary hunters, a coalition can sometimes pool its strengths to take down larger prey or safeguard a kill against scavengers. In contrast to the bonded males, female cheetahs lead more solitary lives. They don't form the lasting sisterly coalitions akin to their male counterparts. Their lives revolve around their offspring, and the challenges of motherhood in the wild demand a different set of behaviors. A female cheetah is fiercely protective, often moving her cubs to new hiding places to protect them from potential threats. The early days of cheetah cubs are both fascinating and vulnerable, Born after a gestation period of around 90 days, these tiny creatures emerge into the world blind and utterly dependent. Weighing just 5.5 to 10.2 pounds, 2.5 to 4.6 kilograms, and measuring about 12 inches 30 centimeters in length, their initial weeks are crucial. One of the distinctive features of cheetah cubs is the beautiful silvery gray mantle that adorns their backs. This elongated, mohawk-like fur not only adds to their endearing appearance, but serves a vital purpose. It is believed that this mantle mimics the tall savanna grass, providing a form of camouflage against predators like lions or hyenas, who might see the young cubs as an easy meal. The nurturing period is a time of rapid growth and learning. Under the watchful eyes of their mother, the cubs are introduced to the ways of the wild. From mastering the art of stealth to understanding the dynamics of a chase, their days are filled with lessons. 
Every failed stalker missed sprint is a step towards becoming the savannah's most formidable sprinter. The story of the cheetah's evolution is as riveting as the animal itself. Venturing back in time, we uncover a narrative spanning millions of years, marked by shifts, challenges, and the relentless drive to adapt. Over five million years ago, the cheetah's earliest ancestors roamed the lands, but not where one might expect. It's believed that these predecessors hailed from North America. Through the lens of paleontology, traces of these ancestral cats reveal characteristics not entirely akin to today's cheetah, yet with undeniable connections. As epochs passed, migrations began, driven by various factors like food availability, changing terrains, and competition. These ancient felines moved through land bridges, seeking new territories, which led them to explore the vast continents of Africa and Asia. The journey wasn't without its challenges. The Earth was undergoing significant transformations during these times. Climate fluctuations, shifting landscapes, and evolving ecosystems meant that to survive, adaptation wasn't just advantageous it was imperative. As the eons rolled on, these early cheetahs faced environmental pressures, and the process of natural selection began sculpting them. There was a need for speed, agility, and stealth to thrive in the evolving savannas and grasslands. However, evolution is a complex web of events. The cheetah lineage experienced what scientists term as genetic bottlenecks. Such events drastically reduce a population, limiting genetic diversity. While often a setback, it's believed that these bottlenecks played a role in the cheetah's modern design. The reduced genetic pool could have intensified certain traits, refining the species into the agile, swift predator we recognize. Today's cheetah, with its sleek body, enlarged lungs, and semi-retractable claws, stands as a testament to this intricate evolutionary ballet. Beyond its iconic sprint and mesmerizing beauty, the cheetah carries a repertoire of fascinating behavioral traits and displays of intelligence that set it apart in the animal kingdom. At first glance, one might notice a peculiarity in the cheetah's paws. Their claws. Unlike their big cat counterparts, such as lions or tigers, cheetahs do not possess fully retractable claws. Instead, they maintain a state of semi-retraction. This unique adaptation isn't merely an evolutionary afterthought. These semi-exposed claws grant the cheetah an added advantage, acting almost like an athlete's spiked shoes. They dig into the ground during those intense sprints, offering the necessary traction that prevents them from skidding on the savanna's grassy terrains. However, it's not all about speed when it comes to the cheetah's hunting prowess. Intelligence plays an equally significant role. Before the famed burst of acceleration, a cheetah demonstrates a masterclass in patience and strategy. It uses the tall grasses of the savanna as both shield and vantage point, stalking its prey with an almost eerie stealth. This approach minimizes the distance between the cheetah and its target, ensuring a higher success rate when the chase finally ensues. Such a blend of strategy and speed reflects a profound understanding of its environment and the behavior of its prey. And then, there's the unexpected sound that might surprise many. The cheetah's chirp. Far removed from the typical growls or roars of big cats, this vocalization bears a striking resemblance to bird calls. But this chirping serves vital communication purposes. For instance, a mother separated from her cubs in the dense grass might chirp, calling them to her side. In response, the cubs chirp back, guiding her to their location. Such vocal nuances underscore the depth of the cheetah's behavioral complexity and the intricate ways in which it navigates its environment. The cheetah's physique is a masterclass in aerodynamic design. A cursory look might give the impression of fragility due to its slender frame when compared to other big cats. However, this lie the build serves a vital purpose. It minimizes resistance when the cheetah hurdles through the savanna at staggering speeds. But speed isn't just about a lightweight frame, it's also about fuel, in this case, oxygen. This is where the cheetah's disproportionately large nasal passages come into play. These expanded channels facilitate a massive influx of air, rapidly replenishing the oxygen levels in its blood during a chase. The result is a big cat capable of sustaining its incredible speed over distances that many predators wouldn't dare attempt. Equally intriguing is the cheetah's tail. 
Unlike other felines whose tails primarily serve as an extension of their spinal column or for communication, the cheetah's tail has an aerodynamic function. During those high-velocity pursuits, prey often zigzag or change direction abruptly in desperate bids to escape. The cheetah, despite its speed, must match these unpredictable movements. Here, the tail becomes an invaluable asset. Acting much like a rudder on a ship or a plane, it aids in swift, sharp turns, helping the cheetah adjust its course in split seconds. It also provides a counterbalance, ensuring that the cheetah doesn't topple over during tight maneuvers. Lastly, the cheetah's vision is nothing short of remarkable. The vast expanses of the African savanna mean that potential prey could be several kilometers away. However, the cheetah is well equipped to handle this challenge. Its eyes, large and forward-facing, granted a binocular range and depth perception crucial for gauging distances. Furthermore, specialized cells in its retinas enhance daylight vision, allowing the cheetah to discern the subtlest of movements, even from considerable distances. This keen eyesight is pivotal in ensuring that the cheetah can spot and track potential prey long before the chase begins. The cheetah, with its blend of elegance and sheer power, continues to fascinate many. Its evolution, behaviors, and unique attributes showcase a delicate balance of nature's design. As we delve deeper into understanding this remarkable creature, we are reminded of the intricate web of life it is part of in the vast African savanna. The African savanna, characterized by its expansive plains and distinctive blend of grasslands, becomes truly alive under the gentle footsteps and quiet rumblings of the African elephant. This iconic landscape, with its sweeping horizons and sun-drenched earth, serves as the backdrop for the life of the largest land animal on our planet. It is a setting where nature's drama unfolds daily, with the elephant as one of its most captivating protagonists. As the sun rises, painting the savanna in warm hues of gold and amber, one might catch the silhouette of the African elephant trekking through the terrain. They meander with purpose, primarily making their territories within the dense grasslands, moist marshes, and the fringes of dense forests. The contrast of the elephant's slate-gray skin against the vibrant greens and browns of the savanna is a sight to behold. Up close, the intricacies of their being become even more evident. Their skin, while rugged and deeply wrinkled, tells tales of their age, experiences, and perhaps even the challenges they've faced. It is a canvas of life, marked by the African sun, battles for supremacy, and the tender caress of fellow herd members. Their eyes, large and expressive, hold depths that seem to contain ancient wisdom. There's a stillness, a quiet intelligence, that they exude, making one wonder about the thoughts and memories that play behind those dark, soulful orbs. In moments of contemplation, when they stand still, letting the gentle breeze of the savanna rustle their ears, it feels as if they're deeply connected to the very soul of the continent. Yet, for all their majesty and serenity, their daily lives are anchored in practical necessities. The vast quantities of vegetation that they consume is a testament to their sheer size and the energy required to sustain them. Daily, as they move in their matriarchal herds or solitary paths, they seek out their favorite foods. Tall grasses, succulent fruits hanging from the trees, or the rough bark stripped from the trunks all of these contribute to their diet. Their intake, ranging between 440 to 660 pounds, 200 to 300 kilograms, is not merely about sustenance, but also about the intricate relationship they share with their habitat. In consuming and processing such large quantities of vegetation, they play a vital role in shaping the ecosystem around them. The might of the African elephant is not just in its size, but also its capabilities. It is awe-inspiring to watch such a colossal creature move with surprising agility across the savanna. When the need arises, perhaps when threatened or during playful bouts with fellow elephants, they can clock speeds up to 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. This swiftness is remarkable, given that an adult male can tip the scales at around 12,000 to 14,000 pounds, 5,443 to 6,350 kilograms. Their height, standing regally between 10 to 13 feet, 3 to 4 meters, at the shoulder, adds to their commanding presence. To observe the African elephant in its natural habitat, against the backdrop of the endless savanna, is to witness one of nature's most harmonious relationships. 
Amidst this dynamic environment, the African elephant carves a niche, not just as an individual, but as part of a complex, tightly knit community. At the heart of this community is the matriarch, an elder female elephant who carries the wisdom of years and the memory of countless seasons. She is the anchor, guiding her herd with an astute understanding of the terrain, the location of water sources during the harshest droughts, and the safest pathways to navigate. Under her watchful gaze, the younger elephants learn the art of survival. The matriarch's teachings are a mix of silent demonstrations, gentle nudges, and sometimes, assertive corrections. Her role is vital. In the vast expanse of the savanna, where threats can come from both natural elements and predators, her knowledge becomes the difference between life and death. The societal structure of these elephants is a testament to the importance of collective wisdom and shared experiences. Younger females, often the matriarch's daughters or close relatives, assist in the upbringing of the calves, a practice known as allomothering. This shared responsibility ensures that the young are always under watchful eyes, be it while they play in the mud, learn to use their trunks, or take their first tentative steps into a waterhole. And speaking of those first steps, the birth of an elephant calf is nothing short of a wonder. After nearly two years inside their mothers a 22-month gestation period, which is one of the longest in the animal kingdom the calves enter the world with an immediate zest for life. Their birth weight, tipping the scales at 220 to 250 pounds, 100 to 113 kilograms, might seem staggering to many, but in the world of elephants, it's just a beginning of their journey to become multi-ton giants. Even more remarkable is their height, with newborns standing about 3 feet 91 centimeters tall, almost immediately displaying a sense of balance and coordination that's impressive for their age. One of the unique and delightful aspects of a newborn calf is its inherent set of milk teeth. These tiny precursors to the massive tusks they might develop later are a testament to the elephant's evolutionary journey. But what truly captures the heart is watching a newborn, within hours, muster the strength to stand on its wobbly legs, eager to join the herd and embark on its lifelong adventure. The early days of a calf are filled with learning, play, and bonding. From understanding the multiple uses of their trunks to recognizing the varied vocalizations of their herd members, their growth is rapid and fascinating. Every interaction, be it the gentle caress of their mother's trunk, the playful nudges from their siblings, or the guiding force of the matriarch, shapes their understanding of the world. The African elephant, with its grandeur and complexity, is not just a creature of the present, but a testament to an ancient lineage, spanning epochs and enduring myriad changes in the environment. Delving into the annals of evolutionary history, we find the origins of this majestic animal anchored deep within the Eocene epoch. It was during this time, roughly 55 million years ago, that the world first saw the appearance of the proboscideans. These were the primordial ancestors of all modern elephants, and began their journey in a world vastly different from today's African savanna. As the eons passed, Earth's atmosphere, landscapes, and ecosystems evolved. The proboscideans were not mere spectators to these changes. They too underwent profound evolutionary shifts to survive and thrive. Adapting to changing climates from lush green forests to expansive grasslands and navigating the shifting terrains, from swampy marshlands to rugged mountainous areas, these animals showcased a remarkable ability to evolve. Their skeletal structures, diets, and behaviors all transformed, painting a fascinating mosaic of evolutionary resilience. Approximately 5 million years ago, another significant chapter in their evolutionary story began. The Loxodontal lineage, direct precursors to the African elephants we marvel at today, made their debut on the Earth's stage. From this lineage sprung two main branches, each tailoring itself to the unique demands of its environment. The African forest elephant, smaller and adapted to the dense, shaded forests, developed distinct features suitable for navigating through thickets and underbrush. In contrast, the African savanna elephant, the one we often picture roaming the vast grassy plains, evolved to be larger, with broader ears and tusks that served varied purposes, from digging for water to stripping bark from trees. The African elephant, often recognized for its immense size and dominant presence in the wild, also holds an intricate web of cognitive faculties that sets it apart in the animal kingdom. 
While their majestic tusks and large ears are visually captivating, it's within their minds that we find some of the most captivating aspects of these gentle giants. One of the standout revelations about their cognitive prowess is their ability to recognize themselves in mirrors. This level of self-awareness is a rare trait, found only in a handful of species, including humans, some primates, and dolphins. When presented with a mirror, elephants display behaviors indicative of self-recognition, such as inspecting themselves and using their trunks to explore parts of their bodies they can't normally see. This intriguing behavior isn't just a fleeting curiosity, it's a testament to their deep sense of self and comprehension of individual identity. Their intellectual capabilities further shine through in their knack for problem solving. In the vast landscapes they inhabit, challenges abound, and elephants consistently showcase their ability to find solutions. Instances of elephants using branches to swat at pests or creating barriers using tree trunks and foliage to shield their young are well documented. These spontaneous acts of innovation underscore not just their adaptability, but also a keen understanding of their environment and the tools at their disposal. Equally impressive is their sophisticated communication system. Elephants employ a range of vocalizations, some of which, being infrasonic, are beyond human hearing capabilities. These low-frequency calls can travel over vast distances, facilitating communication between separated herd members. Beyond sound, tactile gestures, from gentle trunk caresses to playful nudges, play a pivotal role in their social exchanges. These multifaceted interactions shed light on their profound social bonds and the depth of their emotional landscapes. The African elephant, a symbol of might and majesty in the wild, is a reservoir of biological curiosities. Delving into their anatomy and physiology, we encounter a range of features that attest to their evolutionary journey and their seamless adaptation to the savanna's demands. Leading the list of these marvels is the elephant's trunk. A testament to nature's ingenuity, the trunk is an evolutionary masterpiece. Comprising over 40,000 individual muscles, it's both intricate and robust. It's not merely an elongated nose, it serves as an arm, a hand, and an olfactory powerhouse. They can uproot trees and pick up tiny objects, showcasing a unique blend of strength and precision. Elephants use their trunks to breathe, channel water into their mouths, produce a range of sounds from trumpets to soft rumbles, and explore their surroundings with an acute sense of touch. The trunk's sensitivity also allows it to act as a potent smelling organ, detecting water sources or potential threats from miles away. The dental structure of the African elephant is another fascinating subject of study. Unlike most mammals, elephants don't have a full set of teeth on display. Instead, they possess a series of molars that undergo a cycle of growth and shedding. Throughout their lifetime, these molars get replaced around six times, ensuring they always have the apparatus to grind down the tough savanna vegetation. As they age, the molars become larger and more resilient, adapting to their changing dietary needs and the wear and tear of constantly processing coarse plant material. Lastly, the expansive ears of the African elephant are not just ornamental flaps, but a meticulously crafted system serving dual purposes. While they grant the elephant an acute sense of hearing, capturing the faintest rustles of potential predators or the calls of distant herd members, they also play a pivotal role in thermoregulation. The savanna sun can be unrelenting, and for an animal of the elephant's size, overheating is a real threat. Their large ears, lined with a dense network of blood vessels, act as natural radiators. As the elephant flaps its ears, it facilitates the dissipation of heat, ensuring the behemoth remains cool even under the intense African sun. The African elephant, as a keystone species of the African savanna, exhibits both grandeur in stature and depth in intellect. Through its intricate social structures and rich evolutionary history, this mammal offers a profound understanding of the intricate web of life on the continent. Their continued existence enriches the biodiversity and ecological balance of the African landscape. The vast expanse of the African savanna, characterized by its endless grasslands and sporadic acacia trees, serves as a home to the enigmatic leopard. This region, often swathed in warm golden hues, stretches across several countries in Africa. It offers a diverse array of ecosystems, each uniquely complex, yet functioning harmoniously. 
Amidst this intricate web of life, the leopard, often regarded as the ghost of the savanna, thrives, casting an almost mythical shadow over its domain. The leopard is a marvel to behold a magnificent creature covered in a coat dappled with golden yellow rosettes. These rosettes are more than mere ornamental designs, they are an evolutionary masterpiece. Every spot, every curve, every shade on its body has been refined over millennia, enabling the leopard to seamlessly blend into its surroundings. The dappled pattern mirrors the play of sunlight filtering through the tall grasses or the scattered shade beneath the acacia trees, making it nearly invisible to its prey, and sometimes even to the trained eyes of a human observer. As the day progresses in the savanna, the leopard embarks on its solitary sojourn, searching for sustenance. Its diet is as varied as the landscape it inhabits. From agile antelopes that graze the grasslands to mischievous monkeys that frolic in the trees, from elusive rodents that scurry beneath the earth to the myriad birds that soar in the skies, the leopard's culinary palate is diverse. This adaptability in diet ensures its survival in an environment where food availability may fluctuate with the seasons. On an average day, an adult leopard consumes approximately 4.5 to 11 pounds, 2 to 5 kilograms, of food. However, this feline is not always successful in its hunts, making every meal a testament to its skill and perseverance. Yet, when the leopard does set its sights on a target, the savanna bears witness to a spectacle of nature, a dance of life and death. The sheer power and agility of this feline become evident. Muscles ripple beneath its spotted coat as it stalks its prey with calculated precision. And in a burst of energy, it can reach astounding speeds of up to 36 miles per hour, 58 kilometers per hour, often over short distances, making it one of the swiftest creatures in this vast landscape. Its strength is not just in its speed, but also in its stealth and strategy, often ambushing prey from a close range. Beyond its hunting prowess, the physical attributes of the leopard command respect. Adult leopards, in their prime, are quite formidable in size. Typically, they weigh between 88 to 165 pounds, 40 to 75 kilograms, making them one of the most powerful predators in their habitat. Their robust build is complemented by a height of about 2.6 feet, 80 centimeters, at the shoulder. Such dimensions, combined with their strength, enable them to perform feats like dragging prey, sometimes heavier than themselves, up a tree to feast in peace, away from scavengers. Unlike the social lions that form prides or the hyenas that move in clans, leopards prefer a life of solitude, an existence marked by fierce independence and stealthy movements. These creatures traverse vast stretches of land, meticulously marking their territories with scent markings and scratches on trees, signaling to other leopards about their dominion. The vast territories they command are both a testament to their prowess and a necessity for their survival. As solitary hunters, they require a large area to ensure a steady supply of prey. Furthermore, these territories reduce the likelihood of confrontations with other leopards. Although equipped with formidable strength and sharp claws, leopards tend to avoid unnecessary conflicts, conserving energy for their hunts and protecting their well-being. Such a predominantly solitary life doesn't mean they are always alone. Their social structure, though not as complex as some of their feline counterparts, plays a pivotal role in the survival of the species. Mating is one of the few occasions where adult leopards seek out company. During this period, a male might venture out of his territory, searching for a receptive female. These encounters, though brief, are intense, with both leopards communicating through growls, purrs, and body language. After mating, the leopards separate, returning to their isolated existences. Following conception, the real challenge for a female leopard begins. The gestation period lasts about three and a half months, after which she seeks a concealed and safe spot to give birth. This could be a thicket, a cave, or a secluded spot among rocks. Here, in the heart of the wild, amidst the sounds of the savanna, new life emerges. Leopard cubs, in their initial days, are incredibly petite and vulnerable. Weighing a mere 1 to 2 pounds, 0.5 to 1 kilogram, and measuring about 1 foot, 30 centimeters, in length, these cubs enter a world teeming with dangers. Born blind, the first 10 days of a leopard cub's life are spent in complete darkness. This blindness is nature's way of ensuring their initial safety. 
Unable to venture out, the cubs remain hidden, protected from potential predators and threats. During this time, the mother is exceptionally vigilant, frequently relocating her cubs to prevent them from being detected by potential dangers like hyenas or lions. She leaves them only for brief periods to hunt, returning swiftly to nurse and groom her offspring. When their eyes finally open after about 10 days, the world unfolds in front of them. These early days are crucial for their survival and learning. Under the watchful eyes of their mother, they begin to explore their immediate surroundings, taking tentative steps, playing, and imitating hunting moves. They learn the art of stealth, the techniques of the ambush, and the importance of patience. The tapestry of evolution is vast and intricate, with every thread weaving a tale of survival, adaptation, and transformation. Among its most captivating narratives is the evolutionary journey of the leopard. Millions of years ago, long before our planet resembled the world as we know it today, the feline ancestors roamed the earth, setting the foundations for the big cats that would come to be. Approximately 6.7 million years ago, a significant event marked the evolutionary history of big cats. The ancestors of modern-day leopards began their divergence from other members of the Panthera genus. This separation was pivotal, for it gave rise to a lineage that would evolve and adapt to dominate not just the savannas of Africa, but also the dense jungles and expansive forests of Asia. As the eons passed, these primordial leopards faced a plethora of challenges. Earth's landscapes transformed, climates shifted, and prey species evolved. In response, the leopards' ancestors underwent a series of morphological and behavioral changes. Their bodies became more agile, enabling them to climb trees with ease, a skill not common to all big cats. Their coat patterns diversified, providing them with the perfect camouflage for varying terrains, from the golden grasslands of the savanna to the deep greens of tropical forests. Behaviorally, these evolving leopards developed a broader dietary range, hunting everything from small insects to larger mammals, showcasing their adaptability and prowess. Such versatility ensured their survival and proliferation across diverse environments, from the open plains of Africa to the rainforests of Southeast Asia. Thus, over countless millennia, through a process of natural selection, adaptation, and diversification based on habitats and prey, the leopard emerged. Leopards, with their mesmerizing rosette-patterned coats and penetrating gaze, are embodiments of the wild's sheer power and grace. But behind those eyes lies an intellect that has been honed over millions of years, allowing them to employ unique strategies that set them apart from other big cats. One of the most striking examples of their adaptability is their hunting regimen. Unlike some predators that are strictly nocturnal or diurnal, leopards have transcended this binary. They have the uncanny ability to seamlessly switch between hunting during the day and night. This versatility ensures they have a broader window of opportunity to hunt, maximizing their chances of a successful kill. It's a testament not only to their physical adaptability, enabling them to move stealthily in varied lighting conditions, but also to their cognitive flexibility in adjusting their strategies based on the environment and the behavior of their prey. However, securing a meal is just half the battle, in the competitive landscapes of the wild, where every morsel is contested, leopards employ a behavior that is both awe-inspiring and strategic. After making a kill, these felines, using their powerful jaws and neck muscles, hoist their prey up into the branches of trees. This behavior is especially astonishing when one considers the weight of the prey, which, in many instances, outweighs the leopard itself. By elevating their catch into the treetops, leopards effectively shield it from ground scavengers like hyenas and other competing predators. It's a clear demonstration of their forward thinking they don't just hunt, they plan for the aftermath. This combination of raw power, strategic thinking, and adaptability makes the leopard a formidable force in the wild. These traits are not just the result of random evolutionary processes, but a testament to the intricate dance between an organism's environment, its challenges, and its innate capabilities. Delving into the scientific intricacies of this majestic creature offers a captivating insight into its evolutionary prowess, adaptability, and singular characteristics. First and foremost, one cannot discuss leopards without mentioning their iconic coat, adorned with those enigmatic rosette patterns. 
While at first glance, these patterns may seem merely decorative or a generic feature of the species, the reality is far more intricate. Each leopard's coat is as individual as a canvas painted by nature, with no two patterns being identical. This uniqueness is akin to the fingerprints in humans, where each pattern is distinctive to the individual. These rosettes serve more than just aesthetic purposes, they provide the perfect camouflage, blending seamlessly into various landscapes, from the dappled shadows of the forest to the golden hues of the savanna. Moreover, they could potentially aid in individual identification, a valuable tool for researchers tracking and studying these elusive creatures. Another remarkable feature of the leopard is its dietary adaptability. Nature's landscapes are constantly evolving, with prey populations fluctuating and ecosystems shifting. Yet, the leopard remains undeterred. Scientific studies have catalogued a staggering range of over 90 different species that can fall within a leopard's prey spectrum. From nimble antelopes to agile monkeys, from small birds to industrious rodents, the leopard's menu is as varied as the landscapes it inhabits. Such dietary flexibility is a testament to their hunting skills and ability to adapt to changing environments, ensuring their survival, even when preferred prey is scarce. Lastly, the world of the leopard is not just visual, it is deeply auditory. Their vocalizations are a symphony of sounds that convey a wide range of emotions, intentions, and messages. Beyond the expected growls that hint at their power and dominance, leopards possess the ability to purr, a trait endearingly familiar to anyone who has been around domesticated cats. But, perhaps the most intriguing of all their vocalizations is the sawing sound. This raspy call, eerily reminiscent of the sound of sawing wood, is both haunting and mesmerizing. It serves as a long-distance communication tool, echoing through the vast expanses of their territories. The leopard, an emblem of strength, agility, and mystery, graces the African savanna with its unparalleled presence. As solitary masters of camouflage and strategic hunting, they represent a triumph of evolution. Their characteristics, behaviors, and unique adaptations are a testament to nature's endless wonders. Zebras, with their mesmerizing black and white patterns, paint a vivid portrait against the sunburnt hues of the African landscape. These stripes, an evolutionary marvel, make zebras among the most recognizable animals on the planet. And yet, beyond this aesthetic charm, there lies a world of fascinating biology and behavior that brings them to life in the sprawling savannas and vast grasslands they call home. Africa's grasslands, speckled with acacia trees and dotted with watering holes, set the stage for the zebra's daily routine. Amidst a shimmering heat, zebras often move in large groups, grazing their way through the expansive grass carpets. The diet of these herbivores is impressively diverse. While they primarily consume grasses, their versatile palate extends to shrubs, herbs, twigs, and leaves. This varied intake ensures they receive a balanced mix of nutrients essential for their energy and survival. Considering the sheer amount they consume, one might wonder about the zebra's dietary habits. An adult zebra, with its robust digestive system, processes approximately 20 to 40 pounds, 9 to 18 kilograms, of fodder daily. This voracious appetite serves a dual purpose. It provides the energy required for their daily activities, and it aids in the constant digestion process, which in turn keeps them warm during colder periods. When one envisions a zebra, the striking stripes are often the first thing that comes to mind. However, a closer look reveals a creature of substantial physical strength and agility. An adult zebra, depending on the species and environment, typically weighs between 400 to 850 pounds, 180 to 385 kilograms. Their compact, muscular bodies, combined with relatively short and sturdy legs, give them a balance of strength and speed. When standing still, their height averages between 3.5 to 5 feet, 107 to 152 centimeters, giving them a vantage point to look out for predators and scout for greener pastures. Speaking of speed, zebras aren't just creatures of beauty, they are marvels of athleticism. Their well-muscled bodies can propel them to impressive speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, 64 kilometers per hour. This swiftness is not merely for show. In the vast African plains, danger lurks around every corner. Lions, hyenas, and cheetahs are constant threats. 
For the zebra, speed is a lifeline, a critical escape mechanism when confronted by predators. Their rapid gallop, combined with an uncanny ability to change direction swiftly, often helps them evade even the most persistent of pursuers. Additionally, the black and white stripes serve more purposes than one might initially believe. Recent studies suggest these patterns might play a role in thermoregulation. The alternating colors could create micro-air currents, helping zebras to stay cool in the often scorching African heat. Additionally, there's a belief that the stripes make it difficult for predators to single out an individual zebra when they move as a herd, further enhancing their defense strategy. As dawn breaks over the African plains, the world of zebras stirs to life. In the golden embrace of the morning sun, vast stretches of savannas are dotted with these striped equines. For them, every day is a dance of survival, camaraderie, and care, underpinned by an ancient rhythm of nature that has persisted for millennia. While their daily routine seems simple, it is dictated by both necessity and the pressing need for safety. Grazing, a fundamental activity, dominates a significant portion of their day. The rhythmic motion of their jaws working tirelessly, processing the lush grasses and occasional shrubs, is almost meditative. However, this is interspersed with alert pauses, where ears perk up and eyes scan the horizon, always watchful for any signs of danger. Zebras, despite their individual charm, are rarely ever alone. Their social nature ensures that they are constantly surrounded by familiar faces. Most commonly, they form units known as harems. At the helm of each harem is a stallion, the guardian and leader, followed by several mares and their young. These harems aren't just about numbers or strength and unity. They are a testament to the intricate social fabric that zebras weave. Observing them closely reveals heartwarming interactions nuzzling, play fighting, and mutual grooming. This last activity isn't just a mere act of cleaning, it's a ritual of bonding. By grooming one another, zebras strengthen their ties, reaffirming their commitment to the group and their place within it. Amidst the daily humdrum, the true stars often are the youngest members the foals. Their arrival into the world is nothing short of a miracle. Weighing between 55 to 88 pounds, 25 to 40 kilograms, and measuring about 3 feet 91 centimeters at birth, they are embodiments of vulnerability. Yet, nature endows them with an astonishing gift. Within merely an hour of their birth, these foals muster the strength to stand, and soon after, to run. One could argue that this is the purest manifestation of the adage learning to run before you can walk. In the predator-rich environment of the African plains, where threats lurk in every shadow, this rapid mobility isn't just impressive, it's vital. A foal's ability to move swiftly significantly increases its chances of survival during those crucial first days. While the days are filled with grazing and social interactions, the nights are a different balgam altogether. Zebras often huddle together, their collective presence acting as a deterrent for many nocturnal predators. The harems, during these times, rely heavily on the vigilance of the dominant stallion and the collective alertness of the group. Every rustle in the grass, every distant roar, is a reminder of the delicate balance between life and death that they tread each day. In essence, a zebra's life is a harmonious blend of nature's fundamental principles. Eat, drink, reproduce, and survive. Yet, to reduce it to just these elements would be a disservice. Their lives are rich tapestries of relationships, growth, learning, and adaptation. The tale of the zebra is an ancient one, etched into the very fabric of Earth's prehistoric past. As we trace their lineage, we travel over two million years back, to a time when their ancestors, resembling primitive horses, roamed the early terrains. But how did these early equines metamorphose into the striking creatures we are familiar with today? Evolution, with its incremental and persistent push, nudged these ancestors down a path of numerous adaptations. These changes, while subtle at first, accumulated over eons, producing physiological and behavioral traits tailor-made for survival. The most captivating of these traits, undeniably, is the zebra's iconic stripe pattern. Initially, the emergence of these stripes may have been modest, perhaps even sporadic. However, over generations, they became more pronounced and ubiquitous. The reasons? Scientists speculate multiple evolutionary advantages. Camouflage is one such purpose. 
Contrary to our perception, these stripes, especially in the dim light of dawn or dusk, can make a zebra blend seamlessly into tall grasses, breaking its outline and confusing predators. Then there's the hypothesis of stripes acting as a deterrent to biting insects. The stark contrast between black and white appears to be less attractive to flies, reducing the chances of disease transmission. Lastly, the unique pattern may aid in thermoregulation. The differential heat absorption between black and white stripes might create small air currents, offering a cooling effect. As millennia passed, the ancestral zebra population branched out, giving rise to multiple species. Each species, molded by the environment it inhabited, bore its unique evolutionary stamp. From the mountain zebra with its faint grid-like patterns to the more familiar plains zebra with its bold stripes, every variation tells a story of adaptation and survival in diverse African terrains. The world of the zebra, while characterized by its iconic stripes and galloping grace, is also colored by a myriad of sensory experiences and social interactions. Delving into their cognitive universe reveals an animal whose intellect and behavior are a fascinating blend of evolutionary adaptation and social nuance. First and foremost, their senses act as both shield and sword in the dynamic landscapes they inhabit. A zebra's hearing is notably acute. This heightened auditory capability allows them to pick up subtle sounds, from the rustle of a lurking lion in the tall grass, to the distant hoofbeats of an approaching herd. Complementing this auditory prowess is their keen vision. Their eyes, positioned on the sides of their heads, grant them a wide field of view, ensuring that potential threats are rarely out of sight. While their stripes are celebrated for their aesthetic allure and speculated evolutionary advantages, they also play a crucial role in zebra social life. Every zebra's stripe pattern is unique, much like a human fingerprint. This distinction isn't lost on zebras, they possess the cognitive ability to recognize and remember the stripe configurations of their peers. This intricate stripe recognition allows them to identify individual members within their groups, strengthening social bonds and reinforcing hierarchies. However, the zebra's communication isn't limited to visual cues. Vocalizations form a significant component of their interactions. Their vocal repertoire is both diverse and expressive, from high-pitched barks that pierce the quietude of dawn to resonate brays that carry across the plains, each sound is imbued with meaning. These vocal cues can serve as alarms, signaling the presence of predators, or as congenial greetings during social interactions. In essence, the zebra, often perceived through the simplistic lens of its stripes, is an embodiment of complex cognitive and behavioral traits, each honed over millions of years to ensure not just survival, but thriving in the challenging African terrains. The realm of scientific inquiry has always been captivated by the mysteries of nature. Zebras, with their striking appearances and fascinating behaviors, have not escaped this scrutiny. As we journey further into the scientific exploration of these creatures, three specific facets take center stage, each shining light on a unique aspect of zebra biology and behavior. To begin, let's revisit the subject that has perhaps garnered the most attention. The zebra's distinctive stripes. For long, the primary purpose of these stripes remained an enigma. Hypotheses ranged from camouflage against predators to social signaling within herds. However, recent forays into this field have unveiled another intriguing possibility. Scientific experiments have demonstrated that biting flies, such as tsetse flies and horseflies, exhibit a marked aversion to striped surfaces. Zebras, dwelling in regions where these flies are vectors of diseases, would immensely benefit from any deterrence against these pests. Thus, the stripes, in their mesmerizing contrast of black and white, may serve as a natural repellent, shielding zebras from potential fly-borne ailments. Moving from the ensemble to the individual, another riveting discovery pertains to the uniqueness of zebra stripe patterns. Much like human fingerprints, each zebra boasts a stripe configuration that is singular to it. This distinctiveness is not merely a superficial trait. It plays a crucial role in social interactions, allowing zebras to recognize and differentiate members within their groups. The evolutionary implication of this is profound, as it promotes cohesive herd behavior, aiding in everything from collective defense against predators to ensuring social hierarchies are maintained. Lastly, 
The zebra's survival in the often arid and nutritionally challenging landscapes of Africa can be attributed to its remarkable digestive system. Unlike ruminants, which possess a multi-chambered stomach for breaking down vegetation, zebras utilize a hinged fermentation process. In this system, the microbial breakdown of food occurs in the cecum and colon. This allows zebras a twofold advantage. First, they can process a diverse range of vegetation, and second, they can extract essential nutrients even from grasses that might be deemed of lower quality. This adaptability ensures that zebras thrive even when the terrains turn unforgiving. Zebras, with their unique stripe patterns, are not just a visual marvel, but also an evolutionary wonder. Their intricate social behaviors, combined with their survival adaptations, make them a captivating subject of study. As we marvel at their beauty, we also gain insights into the intricacies of nature and evolution. Nestled in the heart of the African wilderness, the mighty hippopotamus, commonly referred to as the hippo, stands as a magnificent testament to nature's prowess and beauty. At first glance, the vast stretches of sub-Saharan Africa might seem an unlikely home for this creature, but its freshwater lakes, rivers, and swamps are where the story of the hippo truly unfolds. Sporting a skin that seamlessly transitions from a rich brownish-gray to delicate shades of pink when sun-kissed, the hippopotamus is a visual marvel. They boast a weight that can tip the scales at an impressive 4,000 pounds, around 1,814 kilograms, for dominant adult males. The females, although slightly less in weight, are equally majestic. The hippo's formidable size extends to its length and height as well, they can span up to 14 feet, about 427 centimeters, in length, and rise to an approximate height of 5 feet, 152 centimeters, at the shoulder. As the ancient Greeks aptly named them river horse, the hippopotamus seems almost sculpted for its semi-aquatic life. Most of its days are spent languidly submerged in water, with only its watchful eyes, attentive ears, and alert nostrils breaking the surface. This clever anatomical positioning allows it to monitor its surroundings, while most of its body enjoys the cooling embrace of the waters. However, this seemingly calm demeanor belies its potential for agility. On land, during unexpected bursts of energy, a hippo can reach surprising speeds of up to 19 miles per hour, around 30.5 kilometers per hour. This agility extends to their aquatic prowess, where they can effortlessly glide through waters at speeds of 5 to 6 miles per hour, 8 to 9.6 kilometers per hour. The vast expanse of the African plains provides the perfect dietary staple for this mammoth creature. Grass. Contrary to what one might expect from such a large animal, the hippo is predominantly herbivorous. As night descends and the African landscape is bathed in moonlight, hippos embark on their nightly foraging expeditions. In a single evening, they can consume a whopping 70 to 100 pounds, 32 to 45 kilograms, of grass. Their enormous mouths, capable of a jaw-dropping 180-degree stretch, swiftly and efficiently graze through the verdant fields, savoring their nightly feast. The beauty of the hippopotamus is not just in its size or its habits, but in the poetic symphony of its existence. The gentle ripples they create as they move through water, the glistening sheen of their wet skin under the African sun, and their deep-set eyes, reflecting wisdom and timelessness, all contribute to a mesmerizing sight. These hippos have mastered the delicate balance of power and grace, their every movement a dance between strength and elegance. Dive deep into the heart of Africa's waterways, and you'll encounter the dynamic societies of the hippopotamus. They don't live in isolation but prefer to form groups, termed pods. These pods can vary in size, from just a handful to over 30 individuals, often shaped and governed by the environment and available resources. Within each pod, an intricate hierarchy is in play. The dominant male, often the largest and most powerful, assumes control, while several adult females and their offspring form the core of the group. The strong bond among the females provides a safety net for the young, while the dominant male's primary role revolves around guarding the territory and ensuring the safety of its members. But dominance in the hippo world isn't a birthright. Males constantly challenge each other for control, leading to intense, sometimes violent, confrontations. 
These displays of raw power, involving aggressive vocalizations, wide open jaws, and sharp canines, are a testament to their intrinsic wild nature. Interestingly, despite these bouts of aggression, fatal encounters are rare, they're more about establishing dominance than causing harm. Amidst this robust adult world, the young hippos, or calves, lead a life filled with learning, play, and motherly affection. The birth of a hippopotamus is a wondrous underwater event. After an eight-month gestation, a sizable calf emerges, representing a miniature reflection of its colossal parents. Weighing typically between 55 to 110 pounds, 25 to 50 kilograms, and extending about 4 feet, 122 centimeters, in length, these newborns are impressively adept. Almost immediately, with an innate surge of determination, the calf propels itself to the surface, taking its inaugural breath of life. This instinctual maneuver underscores the calf's precociousness and the species' remarkable adaptability to their aquatic domains. As days unfold, the bond between mother and offspring intensifies. To safeguard her young from potential dangers, including the unpredictable temperament of male hippos, the mother often isolates the calf from the larger pod during its initial weeks. This protective measure further exemplifies the intricate dynamics of hippo family life. Nursing underwater, learning to graze, deciphering the pod's social cues, and navigating potential threats, the life of a young hippo is both adventurous and challenging. As they grow, playful interactions with other young hippos become frequent, helping them understand their own strength and preparing them for adult life. The social behavior of hippos is not limited to confrontations and motherly care. Interactions within the pot are multifaceted. There are moments of tenderness, especially among mothers and their young, interspersed with instances of play and relaxation. Grooming, where hippos are often seen nibbling or licking each other, strengthens social bonds and provides comfort. To truly understand the hippo, one must journey back over 55 million years, to an epoch when the ancestors of today's hippos, called anthracotheres, roamed the earth. These were primarily terrestrial creatures, a stark contrast to the semi-aquatic hippos we are familiar with today. As the epochs progressed, specifically around 40 million years ago, a significant divergence occurred. The lineage that would give rise to hippos began to branch away from another fascinating group. The cetaceans, which include modern-day whales and dolphins. This split was driven by variations in habitat and ecological preferences, leading to distinct evolutionary pathways. The transition to an aquatic habitat for the ancestors of hippos began around 20 million years ago. Fossil records from the Miocene epoch, approximately 16 to 11 million years ago, show species like Kenyopotamus, which displays characteristics intermediate between modern hippos and their more terrestrial predecessors. These adaptations, which include changes in body structure and functionality, facilitated survival in water-rich environments. Approximately 8 million years ago, the two species of modern hippos, the common hippopotamus, Hippopotamus amphibius, and the pygmy hippopotamus, Chiropsis liberiensis, began to distinctly evolve. They've since adapted impressively to their environments, with physiological modifications such as upward-facing eyes and nostrils for surveillance and breathing while submerged. The hippopotamus, a behemoth that both inspires awe and captures the imagination, has often been regarded simply as an imposing creature of immense physicality. However, to confine our understanding of the hippo to its size and might is to overlook the complexity of its intelligence and the nuances in its behavior. Central to this discourse is the hippo's unique physiological response to the harsh African sun. The production of a natural sunscreen is not a common trait in the animal kingdom, making the hippo's ability to do so nothing short of extraordinary. This sunscreen emerges in the form of a red oily secretion, colloquially termed blood sweat. Contrary to its name, this substance is neither blood nor sweat. It's a mucus secretion that, when exposed to sunlight, turns red due to its pigmentation. This serves dual purposes. It acts as a formidable barrier against the sun's ultraviolet rays, and it possesses antibacterial properties that help heal wounds and prevent infections. In essence, evolution has equipped the hippo with its own skincare product, tailored perfectly to its environment. Yet, the sophistication of the hippo extends beyond its skin, 
Dive into the auditory world of these creatures, and you will find it teeming with communication. Although they might not possess the vocal dexterity of songbirds or certain mammals, hippos have developed a robust repertoire of sounds. The deep grunts and echoing bellows they produce are not merely random outbursts. They are purposeful signals that convey a range of messages, from establishing dominance within a group to warning of an approaching predator. Importantly, these vocalizations are not limited to the air, hippos can produce and hear sounds underwater, allowing for communication even when submerged, further cementing their status as masters of their aquatic domains. Let's address an often underestimated facet of the hippopotamus. Its memory. For an animal that spans vast territories, the ability to recall specific locations is invaluable. Hippos have demonstrated an impressive spatial memory, remembering intricate pathways in dense vegetation and the precise spots where they last fed. This isn't mere instinct, it's a testament to their cognitive abilities. When a hippo traverses its habitat, it's not wandering aimlessly. It's navigating with purpose, using memories of landscapes and water bodies to guide its way. A casual observer might be misled by the skin's sleek appearance. Yet, the sargon, integral to the hippo's survival, is a fortress in its own right. With a thickness reaching up to 2 inches 5 centimeters, it is a formidable shield against potential threats. However, such protection comes with a trade-off. The dense skin retains heat, making hippos vulnerable to overheating in the scorching African climates. Their solution? Immersing themselves in the cool embrace of water, using it as a natural coolant and sanctuary from the sun's relentless rays. Yet, it's in the realm of locomotion that the hippopotamus defies expectations. One might assume that such an aquatic-dependent creature would be an adept swimmer. Surprisingly, hippos aren't swimmers in the conventional sense. They've evolved a distinctive mode of underwater locomotion, pushing off the riverbed or lake floor with their powerful legs, effectively walking or bounding beneath the surface. This method allows them to move with grace and agility, belying their massive size. Equally intriguing is their dietary hydration paradox. The grasses that form the cornerstone of their diet are relatively dry, lacking the moisture content one might expect for an animal so intertwined with water. This dietary shortfall means hippos have an imperative need to drink copiously, consuming vast quantities of water daily. Their lives, in essence, revolve around the aquatic landscapes, not just for refuge or cooling, but for the very sustenance that fuels their existence. In the vast tapestry of the African wilderness, the hippopotamus stands as an emblem of nature's wonder, intricacy, and adaptability. From its evolutionary roots to its nuanced behaviors and ecological impact, research continues to peel back layers, revealing an ever-enriching portrait of this magnificent creature. Each study not only redefines our understanding of the hippo, but also emphasizes its integral role in the delicate balance of ecosystems. The African savanna, with its vast golden grasslands stretching as far as the eye can see, cradles an array of diverse life forms, each uniquely adapted to thrive in this special biome. Amidst a cacophony of chirps, roars, and rustles, one creature stands head and shoulders above the rest, both literally and metaphorically. The giraffe. With its regal posture, this magnificent creature presents an image that evokes wonder and admiration from all who have the privilege of witnessing it in its natural habitat. One of the first things that strike any observer about the giraffe is its unparalleled height. This towering stature, dominated by an elongated neck, is not just an anatomical wonder, but an evolutionary masterpiece. The long neck allows the giraffe to reach the tender leaves of acacia trees, which are often out of reach for other herbivores. This unique adaptation ensures that they face minimal competition for their primary food source. But the giraffe is not all about necks. Their skin, dappled with intricate patterns that range from net-like to more defined patches, plays an essential role in camouflage. Amid the dappled shadows of the savanna trees, these patterns can break up the outline of the giraffe, making it less noticeable to predators. This camouflage is especially crucial for younger giraffes, who are more vulnerable to attacks. Their eyes, large and located on the sides of their head, offer them a panoramic view of their surroundings. This wide field of vision is another evolutionary boon, allowing them to keep a watchful eye on predators, even while they are engrossed in feeding. 
The positioning of their eyes, combined with their towering height, provides them with a vantage point that few other animals in the savanna can match. While the gentle and graceful movements of the giraffe might lead one to believe that they are slow ponderous creatures, nothing could be further from the truth. These animals, when provoked or threatened, can unleash a burst of speed that often takes predators by surprise. At 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour, a galloping giraffe is a sight to behold, its long legs covering vast stretches of ground with each stride. Yet, despite their speed and stature, giraffes are not aggressive creatures. They have a certain elegance, an inherent calmness that makes them appear almost meditative as they move through the savanna, nibbling on acacia leaves. An adult giraffe, with its weight ranging from 2,400 to 3,000 pounds, 1,100 to 1,400 kilograms, has few natural predators. Their sheer size is a formidable defense mechanism in itself. To merely view the African savanna as a setting for the giraffe's existence would be an oversimplification. It is an interactive stage that influences and is influenced by the behaviors, habits, and life cycles of its inhabitants. For the giraffe, this expansive ecosystem provides nourishment, shelter, challenges, and opportunities. Giraffes are not lone wanderers of the savanna, they are inherently social beings. Female giraffes, or cows, are often seen in groups, gently nurturing and guarding their young. These assemblies, aptly named towers, are a testament to the collective spirit of these animals. Within these towers, there exists a subtle hierarchy and an unspoken understanding. Older females often take the lead, guiding the group to favorable feeding grounds and water sources, while younger members learn and adapt. Male giraffes, or bulls, have a different social trajectory. While younger bulls might be seen in bachelor groups, testing their strength and honing their skills for future dominance battles, mature males often choose a solitary path. These lone males wander vast distances in search of mates. Their solitary journeys are punctuated by bouts of intense competition with other males, where they engage in neck wrestling contests, swinging their heads and necks like hammers to strike their opponents. These battles, though fierce, rarely result in serious injury and are a crucial part of the male giraffe's life, establishing dominance and earning the right to mate. But it's in the life of a giraffe calf that the true drama of survival in the savanna unfolds. Right from their entry into the world, these calves face challenges that would be daunting for any creature. The act of birth itself is a spectacle. As the mother stands during delivery, the calf makes a dramatic five-foot, 150 centimeters drop to the ground this abrupt welcome serves a purpose it jump starts the calf's respiratory system ensuring that its first breath is taken swiftly weighing between 100 to 150 pounds 45 to 68 kilograms and standing at an impressive six feet 183 centimeters just moments after birth these calves are a marvel of nature from the moment they find their footing, which happens remarkably quickly, calves embark on an adventurous journey. Their early days are a blend of curiosity, play, learning, and an inherent instinct for survival. Under the watchful eyes of their mothers and the protective canopy of the tower, they explore the world around them, tasting new leaves, interacting with other young ones, and learning the ways of the savanna. The vast expanse of time bears witness to the ceaseless march of evolution, where countless species undergo transformations to fit into the ever-changing tapestry of life. Among these tales of transformation, the giraffe's evolutionary journey stands as a testament to nature's ability to innovate and adapt. Rewind the clock 15 to 20 million years, and the landscapes that would one day be home to the towering giraffe were occupied by its ancestors. These forebears bore little resemblance to the giraffes we know today. They were more akin to deer, with shorter necks and smaller statures. Their world was different, with its challenges and opportunities shaping their form and behavior. As the eons passed, the landscapes changed. Trees grew taller, and the foliage became denser. Food that was once easily accessible now lay tantalizingly out of reach for many herbivores. But where many saw challenges, evolution saw an opportunity. Incremental changes began to take shape in the physiology of the giraffe's ancestors. The neck started to stretch longer, inch by inch, generation after generation. 
This adaptation was not just about reaching for food, it also provided a higher vantage point, a panoramic view of the surroundings that was invaluable in spotting predators from afar. The elongated neck, now synonymous with the giraffe, wasn't just a physical transformation. It marked a shift in their ecological role and behavior. With their new stature, they could access resources others couldn't, giving them a distinct advantage in the competitive world of the African savanna. In the realm of the African savanna, the giraffe stands as not only a figure of physical grandeur, but also of surprising cognitive depth. While their towering presence is an obvious symbol of their evolutionary achievements, their mental prowess and unique behaviors further elevate their stature in the intricate web of savanna life. Navigating the vast and often treacherous landscapes of the savanna and adjoining dense forests demands a special kind of intelligence. For a creature as tall and sizable as the giraffe, moving through thickets and woodlands might seem like a formidable challenge. Yet, they do so with an almost balletic grace. This gracefulness can be attributed to their keen sense of spatial awareness. This cognitive skill allows giraffes to gauge distances, avoid obstacles, and tread paths that seem improbable for an animal of their size. Whether bending down to drink water from a river or weaving through a dense grove of acacia trees, their movements are a testament to their acute spatial understanding. Beyond their navigational abilities, giraffes harbor another intriguing secret their silent conversations. To the human ear, a group of giraffes might seem like they are in a world of silent contemplation. However, beneath this silence lies a sophisticated form of communication. Giraffes utilize infrasound, a spectrum of sound that is beyond our auditory capabilities. These low-frequency sounds, imperceptible to humans, can travel over vast distances, allowing giraffes to communicate with each other without alerting potential predators. This mode of communication is particularly useful during the night or when members of a tower are dispersed over large areas. One of the most iconic features of the giraffe is its elongated neck, a structure that has sparked curiosity and admiration for ages. At first glance, it might be easy to assume that such a lengthy neck would comprise a multitude of vertebrae. Astonishingly, however, this isn't the case. The giraffe's neck, as elongated and flexible as it is, contains only seven cervical vertebrae. This is the same number found in humans, mice, and most other mammals. But there's a twist. Each of these vertebrae in giraffes can be up to 10 inches, 25 centimeters, long, allowing for the neck's incredible length. This unique adaptation not only underscores the giraffe's specialized evolution, but also highlights the remarkable versatility of nature in using common building blocks to achieve vastly different outcomes. Another marvel lies within the giraffe's chest cavity. Its heart. To sustain a creature of such towering stature, especially to pump blood up to the brain through such a lengthy neck, requires a heart that's nothing short of extraordinary. The giraffe's heart is a muscular powerhouse, weighing up to 25 pounds, 11 kilograms. With thick walls and an impressive size, this organ efficiently pumps blood, ensuring that oxygen and nutrients reach the brain and other vital organs. But the marvels don't end there. Take a closer look at the giraffe's skin, adorned with a mosaic of patterns and patches, and you'll discover more than just beauty. These patterns are not mere random designs, they serve a vital purpose. Underneath each patch, a dense network of blood vessels runs close to the skin's surface. This arrangement facilitates the dissipation of heat, allowing the giraffe to regulate its body temperature efficiently. The darker patches absorb more sunlight and possess larger sweat glands, aiding in cooling. Thus, the giraffe's skin is a natural thermostat, crafted by evolution to endure the intense heat of the African savanna. The giraffe is not just an iconic symbol of the African savanna, it is a testament to the wonders of evolution and nature's adaptability. Through its unique features and behaviors, this majestic creature captivates and educates. Their story is a celebration of survival, adaptation, and the intricate beauty of life on our planet. Stretching across the vast plains of Africa to the dense woodlands of Asia, the realm of the rhinoceros is both expansive and diverse. In these landscapes, the rhino, a majestic beast, appears almost as a relic from a bygone era, its lineage dating back millions of years. With every step, it carries not only its impressive weight, 
but also the legacy of its ancestors. Grazing upon the open savannas or meandering through thick forests, these giants exhibit a surprisingly graceful movement. Their feet, though large and seemingly cumbersome, tread lightly upon the earth, reminding us that even the most formidable of nature's creations possess a delicate side. This juxtaposition of sheer power and unexpected grace paints a mesmerizing picture for those fortunate enough to witness these animals in their natural habitat. Their skin, a thick grayish armor, carries the marks of time. Rugged and weathered, it shields them from the harsh realities of their environment. Yet, it's not just a defense mechanism, it's a canvas of their life experiences. Every scar, wrinkle, and fold has a story to tell, of battles fought, of challenges faced, of a life lived in the wild. Such a covering speaks of the rhino's resilience, of its long evolutionary journey, surviving challenges that saw many other species fade into oblivion. The dietary preferences of the rhino, despite its imposing size, are relatively simple. Grasses, shrubs, and leaves are the staples that sustain them. These plants, which seem so common and unremarkable to the casual observer, become a lifeline for these creatures. Every day, an adult rhino consumes between 120 to 150 pounds 54 to 68 kilograms of this vegetation, tirelessly foraging to meet its nutritional needs. The sheer volume of its daily intake is a testament to the massive energy requirements of such a gargantuan creature. However, it would be a mistake to assume that the rhino's large size renders it slow or lethargic. When the need arises, whether to defend its territory, protect its young, or flee from perceived threats, the rhino can muster an astonishing turn of speed. Reaching up to 30 to 40 miles per hour, 48 to 64 kilometers per hour, in short sprints, their rapid charges are a force to be reckoned with. It's a breathtaking sight, this immense creature accelerating with such urgency, its power evident with each pounding step. In terms of sheer size, the adult rhino is undeniably one of the titans of the animal kingdom. Weighing between 2,200 to 5,000 pounds, 1,000 to 2,268 kilograms, its bulk is both a weapon and a deterrent. Yet, even in its enormity, there's a precision to its design. Standing 5 to 6 feet, 152 to 183 centimeters tall at the shoulder, its proportions are harmonious, a product of countless generations of evolutionary fine-tuning. In the complex web of wildlife, rhinos, despite their massive size, often carve out a solitary path for themselves. They are not creatures of large herds, unlike some of their contemporaries on the plains. Rather, their interactions with each other are minimalistic, driven primarily by primal needs. The defense of their territory, the urge to reproduce, and the innate maternal instincts that guide them through the delicate process of rearing their young. Within their communities, a hierarchy prevails. This is not a democracy, but a world ruled by the elders, where experience and maturity often outpace mere strength. At the top stand the seasoned males, their horns and bodies bearing the scars of countless territorial duels, their very presence exuding an aura of authority. They have earned their place, not just through brute force, but also through years of navigating the challenges of the wild. Witnessing rhinos interact is a lesson in nuance. The casual observer may see just two beasts locking horns or exchanging grunts, but a closer look unveils an intricate dance of communication. Gentle nudges, often between a mother and her calf, can be gestures of affection or guidance. On the other hand, powerful charges, usually between rival males, are displays of dominance, where each party asserts its right to a particular territory or mate. But not all communications are physical. Rhinos employ a rich repertoire of vocalizations from soft calls to thunderous bellows, each conveying a specific message. Added to this, they utilize scent marking, depositing their unique chemical signatures to announce their presence, define territories, or signal readiness to mate. The birth and early life of a rhino calf add another layer to this intricate tapestry. Emerging into the world at a weight of 88 to 140 pounds, 40 to 64 kilograms, and a height of approximately 2 feet, 60 centimeters, these young ones are a blend of vulnerability and curiosity. Their skin, markedly softer than the tough hides of the adults, is a canvas yet untouched by the harsh realities of the wild. 
Their faces, with pronounced baby-like features, evoke a sense of innocence, a stark contrast to the seasoned countenances of their parents. These calves, despite their initial fragility, are not left to fend for themselves. Rhino mothers are fiercely protective, often standing guard over their young, ensuring that potential predators dare not approach. These maternal bonds are profound, with mothers guiding their offspring through the basics of survival, from teaching them which plants are safe to eat, to demonstrating how to wallow in mud pits for skin protection. Such lessons are invaluable, for they shape the calf's transition from dependent infant to self-sufficient adult. In essence, the social dynamics of rhinos, from their solitary tendencies to their intricate interactions, provide a captivating insight into their world. Embarking on a journey through time, the lineage of the rhinoceros invites us to delve deep into the annals of prehistory, spanning a vast 50 million years. As continents shifted and climates fluctuated, the first precursors of today's rhinos began to leave their footprints on the landscapes of Eurasia. These initial species, although different in appearance from the rhinos we recognize today, mark the dawn of an evolutionary saga, responding to and evolving with the ever-changing environments around them. One of the most remarkable chapters in this saga is the reign of the Indricotherium. Towering over the landscapes, this animal was the largest land mammal that ever graced our planet. Its sheer size and presence are hard to fathom, dwarfing even the modern elephants. On the other end of the spectrum, the woolly rhino, with its thick fur coat and robust build, navigated the chilling terrains of the Ice Age. This adaptation showcased the rhino lineage's versatility and ability to thrive in diverse climates, from balmy tropical expanses to icy tundras. Fast forward to our current epoch, and the remnants of this illustrious lineage are embodied in the five extant species that roam our world. The white and black rhinos of Africa, with their broad mouths and distinctive profiles, differ greatly from the Indian, Javan, and Sumatran rhinos of Asia, each with unique features and adaptations that suit their specific habitats. Each species, while a testament to the resilience and adaptability of the rhinoceros lineage, also represents distinct branches of an ancient family tree. The imposing stature and formidable horns of rhinos often overshadow some of their more subtle and refined qualities. Beyond their physical prowess, rhinos exhibit cognitive abilities and behaviors that are a testament to their intelligence and social complexity. A key illustration of their cerebral capabilities is their intricate communication system. Rhinos aren't just limited to physical displays when interacting, they have a rich vocal repertoire to express a range of emotions and messages. The soft whistle of a mother calling her calf or the deep grunt of a dominant male asserting his territory offers a glimpse into their diverse linguistic skills. These vocalizations, varying in pitch and intensity, enable them to maintain social bonds, warn of potential threats, and coordinate movements within their environment. Complementing their auditory communication is their refined sense of smell, which plays a pivotal role in their social interactions. The landscape for a rhino is filled with olfactory markers, each telling a distinct story. By depositing scent messages using their urine or dung, rhinos can convey a wealth of information to their conspecifics. These chemical signatures provide insights into an individual's age, gender, and even its reproductive readiness. For a species that often leads a solitary life, these olfactory cues act as crucial connectors, helping to maintain a semblance of community cohesion. Additionally, rhinos exhibit an intriguing ability to form symbiotic relationships with other species. A classic example is their association with oxpickers. These diligent birds perch on rhinos, feeding on the ticks and parasites that find refuge on the rhino's skin. While the birds receive a steady food source, the rhinos benefit from a natural grooming and alert system, as oxpickers often raise alarms at approaching threats. This mutualistic bond exemplifies the rhino's capacity to recognize and sustain relationships that offer reciprocal advantages. The rhinoceros, with its iconic silhouette and ancient lineage, is a reservoir of biological marvels that never cease to fascinate scientists and nature enthusiasts alike. Delving into the anatomy and behavior of these majestic creatures, we uncover a tapestry of features and adaptations that challenge our assumptions and enhance our understanding of their unique biology. One of the most distinctive attributes of the rhino is its horn, 
an appendage that stands as a symbol of strength and has, unfortunately, become a target for poaching due to various myths surrounding its value. Contrary to common perceptions, the horn is not a bone, nor is it anchored to the skull. Instead, it emerges from the skin, comprised entirely of keratin, the very protein that forms human hair and nails. This continuous growth of the horn, much like our nails, can be seen throughout the rhino's lifetime. What makes it even more intriguing is the manner in which it grows. In a densely compacted, layered fashion, giving it that robust and solid structure. While the horn garners much attention, the rhino's feet are a marvel in their own right. One might assume that an animal of such heft would have lumbering, heavy-footed movements. Yet, the rhinoceros defies this notion. Each foot is equipped with three padded toes, a design that efficiently spreads their considerable weight. This tri toed configuration offers stability and agility, allowing the rhino to traverse varied terrains with surprising grace for an animal of its bulk. Lastly, a glance at the rhino might suggest a creature impervious to environmental nuisances, courtesy of its thick skin. However, appearances can be deceptive. Beneath its rugged exterior lies skin that is surprisingly sensitive. Vulnerable to the harsh rays of the sun and the persistent annoyance of insect bites, rhinos have developed behavioral adaptations to counter these challenges. They frequently indulge in mud wallows, slathering themselves with a thick coat of mud. This not only offers a protective barrier against sunburns and pests, but also provides a cooling relief from the heat. The rhinoceros stands as a monumental testament to evolution's artistry, blending might with grace and brute force with intelligence. Their journey, spanning millions of years, offers us a window into the tapestry of life's intricacies. Through understanding them, we not only marvel at nature's wonders, but also deepen our appreciation for the delicate balance of life. The African savanna, with its endless horizons, is a world of contrasts and mesmerizing beauty. In this vast sea of golden grasses, where the land meets the sky, one creature stands out both in grandeur and its epic life journey. The wildebeest. With a name originating from the Dutch word for wild beast, the wildebeest embodies the wild spirit of the African plains. Living primarily in the savannas and grasslands that span eastern and southern Africa, the wildebeest's life is one of constant motion. This perpetual journey is driven by their quest for sustenance. These magnificent creatures, built for endurance, sustain themselves mainly on the grasses that the savanna generously offers. Each day, a mature wildebeest grazes methodically, consuming up to 10.5 pounds kilograms, of grass. This diet not only nourishes them, but fuels their great migratory odysseys. Speaking of their physique, the wildebeest is a marvel of evolutionary design. Their robust form, with muscular limbs and a sturdy torso, is a testament to their adaptability and resilience. Depending on factors like age, gender, and the region they inhabit, a grown wildebeest's weight can vary, ranging from 330 to 990 pounds, 150 to 450 kilograms. When they stand, especially in the backdrop of a setting sun, their majestic height of approximately 4.5 feet, 137 centimeters, adds to the savanna's enchanting landscape. However, it's not just their impressive stature that defines the wildebeest. It's their astounding agility and speed. Despite their robust build, they are anything but sluggish. When the need arises, be it due to the presence of predators like lions and hyenas or the instinctual call to migrate, wildebeests can sprint impressively, reaching speeds of up to 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour. This ability to dash with such swiftness is their lifeline, ensuring they escape threats and traverse the expansive plains efficiently. The picture of thousands of wildebeest galloping across the African savanna, their hooves drumming a rhythmic pattern, is nothing short of poetic. It's a dance of life, survival, and an intrinsic connection to the land they call home. Their movements, whether slow during grazing or rapid during their great migration, tell a story older than time, of nature's cycles and the delicate balance of the ecosystem. The social fabric of wildebeest society is both structured and dynamic. Unlike solitary animals, wildebeests thrive in groups. These groups, or herds, are often delineated by age and gender. 
Young males might form bachelor groups, while females and their offspring create their own congregations. Such organization provides safety in numbers, a principal imperative for survival in a landscape where danger often lurks just beyond the horizon. In the heart of wildebeest society are the dominant males. Their role is pivotal. Using a combination of strength, strategy, and sometimes sheer tenacity, these males lay claim to territories. These territories are not just parcels of land but are prime real estate. Areas rich in food and water resources, essential for attracting females. The dominant male's role doesn't stop at mere territorial marking. He actively herds females into his claimed zone, ensuring that when the mating season arrives, he has a harem of potential mates. Yet, dominance is never a given, it is earned and re-earned. The savanna often resonates with the sounds of clashing horns, as males engage in ritualized combat. These battles, sometimes fierce, are a test of strength and will. Using their robust curved horns, they wrestle, parry, and thrust, seeking to assert dominance or challenge an existing leader. Such confrontations, while intense, rarely result in severe injury. They are, after all, more about proving prowess than causing harm. The continuation of the wildebeest lineage rests on the birth of calves, and here again, nature's marvels are evident. The birth of a wildebeest calf is an event marked by vulnerability and wonder. Emerging into the world, these calves are a delicate 44 pounds, 20 kilograms, in weight, and stand tentatively at 2.6 feet, 80 centimeters. However, what they might momentarily lack in strength, they make up for in sheer determination and instinctual vigor. In a display of nature's genius, these calves, just minutes old, find their feet and start running. This rapid transition from birth to mobility is not a mere novelty, it's a critical adaptation. In a world where predators are always watchful, the ability to move quickly is often the thin line between life and death. The saga of the wildebeest is an ancient one, etched in the annals of time, tracing a lineage that extends back to the dawn of antelopes on the African continent. Over countless millennia, the ebb and flow of the savannah's challenges, opportunities, and threats molded the wildebeest, pushing it on a relentless path of evolution and adaptation. The early antelope ancestors of the wildebeest roamed a vastly different landscape. As epochs came and went, dramatic shifts in the climate, topography, and ecology of Africa set the stage for the evolution of several bovine species, including the wildebeest. But what made the wildebeest stand out among its contemporaries? The answer lies in its unique set of adaptations. One of the most striking is its robust muscular build, optimized for endurance and agility. This adaptation was crucial for the long treks they undertook in search of greener pastures and freshwater, often covering vast distances that are nothing short of awe-inspiring. Parallelly, as the savanna teemed with predators, the wildebeest developed heightened senses. Their acute olfactory capabilities could detect the faintest scent of water, even miles away, guiding entire herds to life-sustaining oases. Their sharp hearing and keen eyesight became their sentinels, ever alert to the rustle of a lurking predator or the distant prowl of a lion. Modern genetic studies offer a fascinating glimpse into the wildebeest's evolutionary timeline. Roughly 1 to 2 million years ago, a significant divergence took place. The lineage of the wildebeest branched away from other bovines, charting its unique course. The species we observe today, with its distinctive horned silhouette against a backdrop of the setting African sun, is the culmination of these myriad evolutionary forces. The wildebeest, often observed through the lens of its grand migratory patterns and dramatic river crossings, presents a deeper layer of behavioral intricacy when examined closely. Behind those horned silhouettes and thundering hooves lies a sophisticated cognitive apparatus that allows them to navigate the challenges of the African savanna with remarkable efficiency. One of the most captivating aspects of wildebeest behavior is their display of swarm intelligence. This isn't intelligence in the traditional sense of individual problem solving or learning. Instead, it's a collective behavior where no single wildebeest is in charge, but together, they move with a purpose. During their epic migrations, vast herds of wildebeest traverse the landscape, adapting their course based on environmental cues and threats. 
This decentralized decision-making process ensures that the herd can quickly adapt to changing conditions, be it a sudden change in weather, the availability of resources, or the lurking presence of predators. Each wildebeest contributes to the collective decision, resulting in a fluid, dynamic movement pattern that optimizes both resource consumption and safety. Equally fascinating is the vocal repertoire of the wildebeest. Their contact calls are not just random noises, but are tailored vocalizations that serve specific functions. A mother separated from her calf, for instance, can emit a unique call, helping the calf locator amidst the sea of bodies. Conversely, a wildebeest sensing danger can vocalize an alert, sending ripples of awareness through the herd, prompting them to be on guard or take evasive action. These behaviors underscore the fact that there's more to the wildebeest than meets the eye. Their collective intelligence and sophisticated communication systems are evolutionary masterstrokes, ensuring their survival in an environment that's as challenging as it is breathtaking. The wildebeest, an emblematic figure of the African savanna, boasts a plethora of intriguing scientific facets that often remain in the shadow of their grand migratory spectacle. Delving deeper into the life of this majestic creature, we unearth a treasure trove of adaptations, behaviors, and relationships that underpin their successful survival in such a dynamic environment. One of the most awe-inspiring aspects of the wildebeest is their annual migratory journey. This isn't just a casual trek, it's a monumental voyage covering up to 1,000 miles. Driven by an ancient instinct and an acute sensitivity to environmental cues, they relentlessly pursue greener pastures and dependable water sources. This cyclic pilgrimage, often fraught with peril from predators and treacherous terrains, underscores the wildebeest's incredible endurance and tenacity. Every year, their hooves carve the same paths, marking a timeless tradition and an innate understanding of the land's rhythmic ebb and flow. In the vast mosaic of the savanna, the wildebeest doesn't exist in isolation. They share their home with a myriad of creatures, forming intricate relationships. Notably, their bond with zebras stands out as a classic example of nature's balance. This symbiotic relationship is rooted in their grazing habits. Zebras, with their sharp teeth, are adept at cropping longer grasses, paving the way for wildebeests, which favor the shorter, more nutritious shoots closer to the ground. This mutualistic grazing ensures that both species can coexist in harmony, maximizing resource utilization without depleting the grasslands. Lastly, the wildebeest's adaptation to the challenging African climate manifests brilliantly in their nasal passages. At a cursory glance, this might seem like a minor detail, but it's a marvel of evolutionary engineering. These expanded nasal passages act as natural cooling systems. As the wildebeest breathes, the blood flowing through the vessels in the nasal passages gets cooled before reaching the brain, an essential mechanism to prevent overheating in the blistering African sun. This physiological trait not only underscores the wildebeest's resilience, but also highlights the intricate ways in which evolution tailors species to their environments. The wildebeest, with its vast migratory patterns and intricate social structures, is undoubtedly a marvel of the African savanna. Its evolutionary journey and adaptabilities stand as a testament to nature's brilliance. As we delve deeper into understanding them, we come to appreciate the intricate tapestry of life that the savanna supports. The beauty of the African buffalo lies not just in its physical prowess, but also in its relationship with the environment it inhabits. The gleaming, sunlit savannas of Africa are painted with images of these robust animals, gracefully grazing or occasionally sprinting, exhibiting both their gentleness and might in a single frame. These landscapes would undoubtedly feel incomplete without the presence of these large mammals, with their dark, ridged height and those expansive, curved horns that tell tales of battles fought and territories defended. Their horns, apart from being a significant identifier, are a testament to their evolutionary adaptability. Both male and female buffaloes possess these horns, though the males, or bulls, have notably thicker bases that can even fuse at the center, forming a protective shield known as a boss. This boss not only serves as a formidable weapon against potential threats, but also as a tool during intraspecies conflicts, especially when establishing dominance or competing for mating rights. A closer look at their diet reveals the African buffalo's harmonious existence within the ecosystem. 
Primarily feeding on grasses, they play a crucial role in maintaining the grassland's health. By consuming older, coarser grass, they make way for fresh, new shoots to thrive. Their feeding patterns ensure that the grassland doesn't become overly dense, facilitating other herbivores that prefer shorter grass. This meticulous grazing system is nature's way of ensuring balance and sustainability. Their vast daily intake of food is a necessity, given the energy they require for their daily activities and the need to sustain their impressive size. The range of food intake, between 88 to 176 pounds, 40 to 80 kilograms, is influenced by various factors, including the quality of the grass available, season, and the buffalo's reproductive status. For instance, pregnant or lactating females may consume more to meet the nutritional demands. Apart from their sedate moments of grazing, African buffaloes are incredibly agile and can exhibit surprising speeds when the need arises. Whether it's to escape a predator, defend their young, or simply cover large distances in search of water or fresher pastures, their ability to reach speeds of up to 35 miles per hour, 56 kilometers per hour, comes as a shock to many. This agility, combined with their size and strength, makes them one of the savannah's most respected animals, with few daring to challenge them. Their impressive weight and stature are a culmination of their diet, habitat, and genetics. Weighing between 1,100 to 2,200 pounds, 500 to 1,000 kilograms, they're undeniably one of Africa's heavyweight herbivores. The range in weight can be attributed to factors such as age, sex, and overall health. Their height, averaging around 5 to 5.6 feet, 152 to 170 centimeters, at the shoulder, gives them an elevated head position, advantageous for spotting potential threats across the flat terrains of the savanna. Amidst a cacophony of sounds and the mosaic of colors, the life of the African buffalo unfolds in a series of intricate social dances and survival strategies. For anyone fortunate enough to witness these scenes, the behaviors and interactions within a buffalo herd can be both fascinating and enlightening. One of the most striking characteristics of the African buffalo is its deeply ingrained social nature. While many animals in the savanna might prefer a solitary existence or form smaller groups, the buffalo stands out with its preference for larger assemblies. It's not uncommon to find herds that number in the hundreds, and occasionally, even over a thousand. This behavior isn't mere chance but a calculated survival tactic. Larger groups mean more eyes to spot predators and more bodies to deter potential threats. It's a strategy that has served them well in the unpredictable and often harsh African landscape. Within these sizable herds, a captivating social structure unfolds. Older, battle-hardened males, known for their wisdom and strength, typically dominate the hierarchy. Their years of experience navigating the savanna, facing off against predators, and engaging in skirmishes for dominance, render them invaluable leaders. These seasoned bulls are often surrounded by a retinue of younger males and a multitude of females and their offspring. This structure ensures both the safety of the group and the propagation of strong genes. Yet, their social behaviors are not just about defense. The buffalo's collective knowledge helps them locate water sources, especially during the drier months when water becomes a scarce commodity. The older members often remember past droughts and the hidden waterholes that provided solace during those testing times. Guided by this memory, the herd moves in a coordinated manner, ensuring that every member gets their fair share. But perhaps the most touching moments in a buffalo's life center around the birth and nurturing of their young. After a gestation period of approximately 11.5 months, a period filled with anticipation and protective instincts from the expecting mother, a calf is introduced to the world of the savanna. These calves, weighing between 88 to 99 pounds, 40 to 45 kilograms, and standing around 2 feet 61 centimeters tall, are born relatively vulnerable. Yet, they are not without their defenses. Their rapid growth is a marvel of nature. In a few months, they undergo a significant transformation, becoming sturdier and more adept at navigating the challenges posed by their environment. Moreover, the herd plays a vital role in ensuring the calf's survival. From the moment they are born, they are enfolded into the protective embrace of the group. The females, especially, display a collective mothering approach. 
Any hint of a threat, be it a lurking lion or a circling vulture, is met with a phalanx of determined buffaloes, ready to protect their young at all costs. The story of the African buffalo's evolution is a captivating saga that intertwines with the very fabric of Africa's shifting landscapes and ecosystems. Their tale begins millions of years ago when the continent itself was undergoing significant geological and climatic changes. The ancestors of the African buffalo, part of the larger bovine family, began a distinct evolutionary path around 5 to 8 million years ago, setting the stage for the emergence of this iconic species. One of the most profound adaptations was the development of the buffalo's signature large curved horns. These aren't merely decorative or arbitrary growths, they are the results of eons of natural selection. In the relentless African wilderness, where predators like lions, hyenas, and crocodiles are constant threats, these horns evolved as formidable weapons of defense. Moreover, they also serve a vital function in intraspecies communication and dominance displays. The thicker and more imposing the horns, especially in males, the greater the individual's status within the herd hierarchy. Parallel to these physical changes was a significant dietary shift. As Africa's landscape transformed, with vast grasslands replacing many forested areas, the buffalo's ancestors needed to adapt to this new food source. Gradually, they evolved to rely predominantly on a grass-based diet. Their digestive systems underwent changes, enabling them to extract maximum nutrients from grasses, even during seasons when the grass might not be at its most nutritious. This adaptation was crucial, allowing them to flourish in the expansive savannas that became synonymous with the African continent. The African buffalo, often perceived solely for its brute strength and imposing presence, possesses a depth of intellect and behavioral nuances that are nothing short of fascinating. Beyond their physical prowess lies a brain that's adept at learning, remembering, and collaborating. One of the most impressive cognitive abilities exhibited by the buffalo is their long-term memory. Just as elephants are renowned for never forgetting, buffaloes too have showcased an incredible knack for recalling past events. This skill is particularly beneficial for survival. For instance, if a particular watering hole had been the site of an ambush by lions several years ago, buffaloes will approach it with caution or even avoid it altogether in the subsequent years. This memory-based behavior ensures the herd's safety by avoiding historically dangerous zones. But it's not just individual memory that stands out. The African buffalo also thrives on teamwork. In situations where a member is under threat, instead of scattering in panic, the herd exhibits a remarkable cooperative behavior. They rally together, forming a protective barrier with the strongest members at the perimeter to fend off predators. In instances where a calf or a weaker member is cornered, the herd will often launch a collective counterattack, putting their numbers and strength to optimal use to rescue their kin. Communication forms the bedrock of these sophisticated behaviors. The African buffalo employs a rich tapestry of vocalizations and body language to convey messages within the herd. A tilt of the head, a particular stance, or a distinct grunt can communicate anything from a looming threat to a found water source. These intricate signaling mechanisms underscore the buffalo's ability to maintain cohesion within large groups and navigate the challenges of the savanna together. The African buffalo, an emblematic figure of the African savanna, holds within its formidable frame a plethora of scientific marvels that underline the intricacies of evolution and adaptation. Each attribute, honed over millennia, plays a vital role in ensuring their survival amidst the capricious African landscape. One of the most endearing sights associated with the African buffalo is the presence of small birds fluttering around them or perched on their backs. These birds, known as oxpickers, have a unique relationship with the buffalo. While it might seem like the birds are merely taking advantage of the buffalo's vast frame as a resting place, they are in fact engaged in a beneficial symbiotic relationship. Oxpickers feed on ticks, dead skin, and other pests that cling to the buffalo's hide. In doing so, they not only get a meal, but also provide the buffalo with a valuable grooming service, reducing the irritation and potential diseases these pests might carry. This interaction exemplifies the intricate balances and partnerships forged in nature, where different species collaborate for mutual benefit. The buffalo's dietary habits and the internal mechanisms supporting them are another wonder of nature.
As ruminants, African buffaloes possess a specialized digestive system that's adept at breaking down the tough fibrous grasses of the savanna. Their four-chambered stomach plays a pivotal role in this process. The initial phase involves quick consumption of grass, which then gets stored in the first chamber. Later, in a somewhat contemplative posture, the buffalo regurgitates this partially digested matter and rechews it. This process, known as rumination, allows for the thorough breakdown of cellulose, extracting maximum nutrients and energy from the grasses. Yet, while their physical adaptations are impressive, the buffalo's sensory capabilities are equally remarkable. Among these, their acute sense of smell stands out. This keen olfactory ability aids them in numerous ways. Whether it's detecting a water source miles away, sensing the stealthy approach of predators, or picking up on subtle changes in atmospheric conditions that might signal an impending storm, their noses often provide the critical early warning system that ensures their well-being. The African buffalo, a symbol of strength and unity, holds a unique and intricate role in the African savanna ecosystem. Through its evolutionary journey, it has adapted perfectly to the challenges of its habitat. Delving deeper into their social structures, behaviors, and scientific characteristics only heightens our appreciation for this majestic creature.